Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes. So everything is alleged. Some is not in the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it and get up. Uh, I told y'all I was sick of doing Jaguar videos, okay? But everybody wants me to talk about it. Um, I got two videos. I don't know which one she went to jail for. I can't even, I can't sit there and watch no one and two hour lives. Um, and you know, they just playing around. I just can't do it, y'all. Um, one video footage I got, uh, I did receive and she looked like she was in a store or something. Jaguar, right. Okay. Cause they're saying she just got arrested again. I don't know if she locked up. Is they holding her till she come down? Is they about to transfer to the lo the loony bins? I don't know, y'all. Okay? All I know is people are saying she got arrested again. Okay? And nine times out of ten, it's her mouth. Jaguar likes this attention, y'all. She really do. And sooner or later, she going to get what she's asking for. I'm going to tell y'all this. You know, when I saw her in Chicago... And she was going off at, you know, at the airport on everybody and stuff like that. I said, she going to run into the right one in Chicago. Let her keep on playing around in the shaft. She going to get what she asking for. Okay. Um, anywhere she goes, she going to eventually run into the right one. She's cussing people out left and right. You know, Jay-Z ain't got to send nobody at her. People going to get sick of seeing her face with her running in their face cussing them out. Okay. So, I got one video footage, y'all. And the video footage looks as if she's in um, some kind of store, okay? And she's trying to purchase something, but she don't have no money. This is what, what I'm getting from the video footage. She don't have no money because, you know, a, a couple of days ago, she had put up a video saying that her husband been putting paws on her, taking all her money, transferring them, all that money from one account to another, and she has no, you know access to the money and i want y'all to pay attention to that because every time she come up with some kind of one scheme after another after another after another either she's online begging for money or her husband is online begging for money so and when people is doing that um nine times out of ten it's it's a scam okay y'all um one minute she was with you know the devil worshiping guy okay then, you know, sold somebody. She was with him, okay? And then they were, they got into it, okay? And her husband allegedly put paws on this guy and all of this stuff. That big commotion went on. And she was throwing stuff around, you know, her son all over her, all of that mess. And she goes to jail and then ends up going to the hospital and her husband online big, okay? Then, after that whole little incident went through, then she started hooked up with, um... This this fake, I'm going to just put it out to this fake ass um, R. Kelly Aaliyah daughter mess, okay? And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. This this girl that came forward talking about she was Aaliyah's daughter and all of this stuff. She looked like she could be some kin to Jag, okay? And like this was something that they all scammed to do, okay? So one minute this girl is out of town and then the next minute Jaguar just met her allegedly online and then she... She comes to visit Jaguar, and she's all on uh, Real Life Street Star. Y'all, all these people seem like they're desperate for something. I don't know what, okay? Um, then they were begging. For, she was begging for money for this girl, for Aaliyah's, Aaliyah and R. Kelly's wannabe daughter, okay, y'all? Then she was begging for money to, to call herself trying to help her. So now here's another incident going on. Oh, don't forget about the car. The car that was uh, set on fire, or whatever, y'all. But Jay Z said a car on fire. They need a cash for that too to help them out of that jam. Now, um, she's in the store after she put up a video saying that her husband took all her money. Um, she has no money to pay for something that she's trying to get. Okay, and while she's standing there in the line, she's recording herself, y'all. Everything she does now, she records herself for everything, okay? She's standing in the store, don't have no money, allegedly. And she's offering the guy, she acting like, you know, poetic justice and stuff. You want you want some punani? You know, she she's actually, 
you know, offering somebody some, you know, um, some mingle and tingle time, y'all. On camera, she's asking this man, do he want it? That, you know, she'll pay for the stuff that she got with that. Okay, y'all, this is what she, how she was coming, okay? And the guy turned her down cold. He didn't even want it, all right, y'all? So, I, I don't know if she got arrested at that time because she's sitting online trying to, you know, pretty much solicit herself, okay, y'all? Then, you know, somebody sends me a video of, you know, on Nine Day Network, and they were doing a live. And on this live, you know, she's at the police station harassing them. Jag is all over the place. I don't know did she get arrested at the police station or did she get arrested at the store when she was trying to, you know, offer some mingling and tingle time. I don't even know, y'all, to be honest with y'all. I, I don't even care, <laughs> to be honest. You know, I used to I, I used to try with her. I just can't anymore because a lot of stuff that she's doing right now, she's doing because of attention, y'all. She wants some attention. And every chance she get, you know, she's talking about her husband putting paws on her. If your husband is doing the things that you say he is doing to you, leave him. Why are you with him? Why are you still with this man? If you're supposed to be the star, because her husband is always talking about he's a star now because he's with her. So if she's the star, then why not just leave him? If everybody's still supporting her and she's making all this money off of YouTube and all this other stuff that she is doing, then why not leave him? Get your own account and make your money on YouTube or whatever it is that you're doing and walk away from the whole situation. She is publicly downing her husband every chance she gets, calling them all kind of females, okay, y'all? And saying how soft he is and all this stuff. And at the set, at the end of the day, you keep running right back to him. She keep running right back to him. And I'm going to tell y'all this. I made this video a while back when she was with that soul guy. Soul whatever his, hat, his name is. the You know, the devil worshiping guy. The cult guy. When she was with that guy and she was around him, she was lit up. She was happy. Ever since this guy hasn't been in her life and been around her since that little incident happened, um, she has been miserable. I don't know if y'all paying attention to this, but Jay act like she's in love with that that's that coat guy. Because ever since he been out the picture, she has been acting a fool with everybody. Everybody she run into on the streets, in the airport, run into the police station. She's getting into it with everybody. And like I said, keep knocking on that door. Somebody going to answer. Okay? And it's going to be all recorded. And they're and they not even going to care. There's so many people out here that don't care about no recording. They don't care about putting a knot up side your head. If you're going to keep on running in people's face, acting a fool, and this other tape, you know, people be trying to be nice to her when she comes into places. They still be trying to be respectful to her. But she has no respect for people. She's cussing everybody out she's running into. She's acting like she's smoking her kneecaps off. That's what she acts like to me. Like she's on some, some kind of street pharmacy stuff. And it's getting bad. Y'all, this is what she's acting like. Or some uh, uh, raggedy, raggedy, raggedy drunk. Okay, this is what she's acting like right now. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it for nobody. This is what she's putting out here to the world. And you know what's so embarrassing? Her son. Her son got to sit back and watch her make a public fool of herself every single time that you hear her name. It's a shame that she has talent and is going to waste. And she thinks that she's, you know, putting herself out there and, you know, putting herself on by being the fool of the world. But this is not how it's going. She's looking real stupid and she's going to end up locked up. Or they're going to end up putting her in some kind of home and she ain't going to be able to stand her own self about it. That's what's going to end up happening to her. Because the things she's doing right now don't make sense. And see, she failed to under, she, she failed to realize this. She's married to this guy. And if they put her in a home or something, he can stand for them to, to keep her. He can stand for them to keep her. Depending on what home that she goes to. Because she's all over the place. This man can literally tell them that she is unstable. And have her put up in some kind of home somewhere. 
and she won't even have no rights to get up out of there. Because the stuff she's doing right now don't make no sense. She claimed that she's taking some pharmacy stuff that they gave her when she went in. But um, every time she's, you know, out here snapping on everybody, she's that's the first thing she say. She used that as an excuse and say she haven't taken her pharmacy stuff. So this is why she's, you know, she needs that and she haven't been taking it. And this is her excuse for to, you know, her get out of jail free card every time that she gets out here and acts a fool of herself. But the thing, the thing that that's getting to me, don't she understand that this not only makes her look bad, this makes her her son and sitting back looking at this. The people that's around her son, um, they're, you know, even if he got friends in school or whatever it is that her son does or whatever, um, don't she know that this is embarrassing to him? Now I understand. I, I completely understand why Tasha K played her the way she played her. I seriously do. Tasha K saw what a, a lot of people didn't see in her. And now it's coming to the forefront. And the only thing that everybody can do is sit back and be like, yeah, Tasha K was right about this one. This is what she's doing. She's making everybody look like they're right. And she's, you know, off her rockers, but she really ain't. She used that as an excuse to do the things that she's doing. And she's thinking that, you know, she's working on new music. She's working on stuff. And all this is free publicity for her. Because as she's all over the channels, everybody talking about her. And I keep telling y'all, you know, I, you know, if people stop paying all this mess attention, it will go away. It will go away. It will boil over and it will go away. Seriously. But the more everybody talk about it and stuff like this, the more she's going to do until somebody stops her. Okay. And I'm going to tell y'all this. If and when something does happen, if she keep running in people's faces and acting the way she's acting, when and if it does happen, every celebrity that she has been talking about, they are going to be rolling laughing. They're going to be posted on their page. Everybody going to post up something talking about her. She is going to be the joke of YouTube like she already is. Now, people still feeling sorry for her. She still got a lot of people out here feeling sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her anymore. Because the way that she's treating her husband is ridiculous. Um, you're sitting up there talking about him like a DOG. And all you got to do is walk away. Who who seems like it's something wrong with him if you married this man? You the one married him. You married him. He ain't just changed overnight. He been like that the way he was. He was like that when you married him. He ain't changed. People personality don't change like that. She been knowing that he was on pharmacy stuff because he has, you know, problems like she do. So she knew that whole full package when she married him. And the thing of it is now for somebody to talk, to talk, you know, and people, like I told y'all before, she talks like she's so intelligent and this and that and this, very well spoken. And now it, she's becoming a joke. People is looking at her like she's a hot mess that is not, ain't no coming back from right now. And that's how I see her as y'all. Okay. Now, like I said. I don't know that she go to jail from going in the police station, snapping on them, talking about she got a, she's suing them, and you know, uh, Ramirez, Officer Ramirez put paws on her, and she's suing the police station and cussing them out. I don't know if she went to jail for that or they detained her for that because she probably wouldn't leave the building when they told her to leave. Okay, or did she get caught up for sitting up there trying to you know mingle and tingle with the the cashier because she ain't had no money. Oh, I, who knows, y'all? Who knows, okay? But this right here is a hot mess waiting for some serious stuff to happen. And some she's going to get what she's asking for sooner or later. She is, um, she's toxic. She is toxic, y'all. And it makes you wonder the people that's around her who want to even socialize with that. I'm just saying, y'all, it's weird. I, I couldn't stand to be even friends with somebody like this. She is too just all over the place. And uh, she's just obnoxious. She just, she gets on my nerves now. When I see her, you know, name pop up now, I totally ignores it. 
but people sent her information to my emails and they're sending it to the IG. So I just jumped on here to talk about it for a second. But y'all, I can't with her. I keep telling y'all. Why is y'all even wasting y'all time anymore? Because eventually she is going to get what she's asking for. Mark my words. She's going to run into somebody and she's going to, they, she ain't going to have to talk about her husband putting paws on her. Okay. You are going to see a recording of somebody breaking Jaguar off out in the street. And it's going to be some just regular old mo that she run up in their face and say something stupid to and get smart and start cussing somebody out. And it's going to, she, they're going to be her huckleberry and they're going to, they're going to break her off. I promise y'all, people getting sick of Jag right now and her mouth. They're getting tired of her, okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.